Dooley Noted, 9-4-2015. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here at St. George's University Med, amazing Grenada, West Indies. I'm here with a stellar, stellar student that always shows up to reviews. Nick, um, we're gonna do a little bit of cutaneous innervation today at the hand. Sounds good. Nick was my volunteer a couple of days ago and I saw him taking lead and actually using this on other students. And I think you have it down pretty well now. I'd like to. Yeah, but for the camera, I'd like to show you um, how you could practice the cutaneous innervation of the hand on your own uh, at home. And just some basics, we're gonna use median nerve and uh, ulnar nerve and radial nerve in colors. And I'll try to keep the colors consistent so that you guys can work on this at home. So if you wanna come in close, the palmar aspect, it's hard to tell in a glove, but we're on the front surface. You have the median nerve and you have the ulnar nerve. So, what happens in the hand is that the median nerve will go through the carpal tunnel, the ulnar through the tunnel of Guillaume, and then there's a massive amount of cutaneous innervation. What we have first is a little branch off the median nerve called the recurrent branch of the median nerve, otherwise known as the million dollar nerve. The median nerve will give off three common palmar digital nerves. These common palmar digital nerves will give off two proper palmar digital nerves. A proper digital nerve will go to one side of one digit, making you have 10 total proper nerves. So we have a common palmar digital nerve giving rise to two propers. What's fascinating about the common palmar digital nerves is that they innervate separate digits. They go to these spaces here. So the first common palmar digital nerve will go to the inside of the thumb and the outside of the second digit. The second common palmar digital nerve will give rise to a branch that goes to the inside of the second digit and the outside of the third digit. And the third common palmar digital nerve will give rise to a proper that goes to the inside of the fourth, or inside of the third and outside of the fourth. That kind of leaves us with no innervation for the lateral side of the thumb. So we have a separate proper palmar digital nerve that actually comes off straight off the median nerve. This gives us a first proper all by itself, a second and third proper that come off the first common, a fourth and fifth proper that come off the second common, and to finish it out, There we go. Sorry about that, guys. So C1, C2, C3, common palmar digital nerves giving rise to six propers and then an extra proper coming off all by itself. So the median nerve itself will give the recurrent branch of median nerve motor innervation to the thanar eminence, as well as a full proper and three commons giving rise to six propers. So that way, the median nerve not only innervates the the sides of the first three digits, but also the lateral side of the fourth digit. The ulnar nerve will give rise to one common, common four, that gives rise to two propers. So we have P8 and P9. And in order to be able to get to our inside of the fifth digit, we have to have a full proper for proper 10. The ulnar nerve will also give off deep and superficial branches. We have a deep branch going down to the intrinsic muscles of the hand and a superficial branch out to the thanar eminence as well as a couple of lumbricals. But for the cutaneous innervation, you want to focus on this presentation. Ten propers, a proper for each side coming from a separate nerve, as well as the commons that come off. The commons, three for median, one for the ulnar. As we flip the hand over, we have this nerve called the superficial branch of radial nerve that travels deep to the brachioradialis. And there's also a nerve called the posterior interosseous nerve that innervates the palmar aspect of the back of the hand. So we'll ignore pin for the most part and stay towards the digits for innervation. The um, superficial branch of the radial nerve will innervate through here. things get a little complicated. The median nerve gives us a little bit of a cutoff where it comes all the way down to the back. I always say the tips at the dips, right? So we're coming all the way to the distal interphalangeal joint and we're doing innervation, right? So we have median nerve 
actually transmitting its innervation all the way towards the posterior. But things divide right around here to where the median nerve does the tip of the lateral aspect of the fourth digit, but the ulnar nerve does this side. By its dorsal branch. So there's a dorsal branch of ulnar nerve that'll do the entire back surface, right? On the medial surface, all the way up. But the radial nerve, as you can see, will come in to do this part. So radial nerve is going to go all the way up to the distal interphalangeal joints on the first, second, third, and lateral half of the fourth digit. The median nerve is going to get the tip of the lateral half of the fourth digit, and then ulnar nerve is going to take over for the rest of the inside of the fourth digit as well as the fifth digit. So uh, when you get into a bind, all you have to do is put a glove on and start to draw it out. It makes it relatively easy. Don't forget that you also have superficial palmar branches that didn't come off actually distal to the tunnel. They come off up here. You actually have a superficial palmar branch coming from both the ulnar and off of the, the median nerve, but they branch proximal to these tunnels. So they're not gonna to contribute to the digits as much as they contribute to the palm here. So if you're wondering what innervates the palmar aspect, it's nerves that are coming off of median and off ulnar, and these are the superficial palmar branches of that. So if you're having trouble with the cadaver and you just don't know how to make right of everything, maybe draw it on your hand first. Um, if you're a clinician, you could even show this on your patient, why they're having numbness and tingling in a certain region, especially if they've had a distal type injury. This is how cutaneous innervation is delivered uh, for dermatomal innervation. So we always say that there's C8 is through here, C7 is the one you flip in traffic, and C6 is the shooting muscle, right? So C6 area through here, C7, and C8. So if you're trying to remember dermatomes and how they're delivered, they may ask you the peripheral nerves that deliver these dermatomal distributions, right? So C6 shooter, C7 flipping traffic, C8 on the medial side. Um, if you're having trouble, use this video to help you uh, draw it out. And if you have any questions, you can email me at drkathydooley at gmail.com. Nick, thank you so much thank you. for volunteering. I really appreciate it. Oh, he's going to leave me with Sharpie all over my hand. I knew <laughs> what you were you, doing. Thank you, Dr. Dooley. Uh, thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon.